Hello, this is Wonyeon Park. In this video, we are talking about the stiffness, especially rot rotational stiffness. In order to calculate rotational stiffness, we have to know this formulation, the simple uh, formulation. Um, the moment in course to spring constant times angle. Okay, so uh, we're going to apply some certain moments and that uh, results in some angle of your model and uh, finally we can get spring constants by calculating moments divided by angle, okay? So, first of all, how to apply moment, okay? So we need two forces to generate that moment. So here's two forces I already applied. Okay, let, let's look at the first one. So I applied one Newton along this, as, uh, this axis, I mean Z axis, at this edge. Okay? And second force here, this one, is located at this edge, but the force is a different direction to the, uh, the previous one, but um, the, the magnitude is the same. Right, uh, this the, a set of the forces can generate a moment at the end of this flexure. Okay, so um, just to make the mesh and then just run it. Okay, it gives you the moment uh, results. But um, we have to calculate now uh, the theta at the uh, at the end of this flexure. So we have to looking at the Z direction displacement. Okay, here is my results. So how to calculate the theta, I mean the, the rotation angle. So we can go to the Z direction displacement results and right click on that. And here's the list selected. So now I would like to see the, the result, specific result at this edge. Click this edge okay and go to the here and click update and then you go down up to here report option there is plot option click this now you can see this plot this plot shows you uh, the Z displacements along I mean at the uh, the selected edge so here the distance of the edge I mean the, the is the normalized so I uh, I think it was 25 millimeter over uh, over 25 millimeter and see the results which is this is the 5.1 10 to the minus 5 millimeter here um, this is about minus 5.36 um, 10 to the minus 5 millimeters is the symmetry things. Okay, anyway, now using this line, you can calculate the slopes, okay? And that slope represents the theta, I mean, rotation angle uh, by the, the, the moments, okay? Moment, also you can calculate that moment because we know the 1 Newton and also the distance of this one, so from the center, which is to 20, uh, 12.5 millimeter okay the Newton times that distance uh, results in the mo that, that moment okay so now we have moments and theta rotation angle and you can calculate the spring constants the rotation constants um, so easy okay so uh, if you have any question please let me know or email me I can help you bye bye